And welcome to another edition of the Coach's Corner. I'm Matt Shabert, and today we're talking soccer with Moorhead State head coach Warren Lipka. Warren, I uh, appreciate you being here. Thank you uh, for having me. You know, it's a tough time to get anything in right now, but uh, this is uh, this will be good. This will be good for everyone. Well, let's talk about um, as you were growing up and and your your life in soccer. Um, you know, soccer nowadays is, is such a worldwide phenomenon, and the number of people playing and the number of interest and from young to old was it that way when you were growing up and when you were getting into soccer when you were when you were younger yeah it actually was uh, you know i'm originally from st louis missouri um, i always tell everybody in kentucky that uh, playing soccer in st louis is like playing basketball in, in kentucky you know it's uh, you, you grew up and you played it and um, you know my father played it and you know a lot of irish catholics so just really heavily um, Based soccer area, so um, it's been great to see the sport kind of blow up. Um, I, I talk to talk to a lot of parents all the time that have kids that play baseball or football or basketball. They always started off with soccer because they ran around. You know, they did did things. They're out running around, chasing the ball, and you know, having some fun. But uh, you know, and then they they found their niche. But uh, it's it's really has it's taken on and. And uh, you know, I think there are a lot more people who appreciate the game. Longtime coach at the University of Kentucky, a lot of success there, and then you transitioned to Moorhead State. Let's go back, and when you were coming to Moorhead State, what was kind of on your mind as you looked to to put your stamp on on the program here, and as you started the program here when you when you started at Moorhead State? Well, I remember you know playing Moorhead when we were at Kentucky, and and uh, always competitive, you know, highly competitive games, and and that, and then. Uh, you know, when my time came and, and I was looking at it, uh, you know, Brian Hutchinson, uh, you know, brought me in and we talked about it and he, he had an idea where they wanted to take the program. And, um, and I like, I, I love the state of Kentucky. I wanted to stay in the state and I didn't really want to go somewhere else to find a, you know, place to coach. And uh, it kind of fit at the right time. Everything just fell uh, in the right spot. And, you know, I just wanted to build this program to be competitive, to compete for conference championships. and you know, go to the NCAA tournament and... Um, I, lucky enough to, to, to fortunate enough to, to do that a couple times here. Yeah, we did, we have. And, uh, you know, and, and of course, like everything else, uh, you got to maintain that. And, and that's the hardest thing because then all of a sudden we woke up some people and everybody else is, is you know, I think in the conference is very, very competitive now. And they're all have the same mentality. So, um, you know, we're, we've got to... We've got a good path laid for us now. We, we, we got through a couple of tough and years of injuries and things like that, but uh, we've got a good path now. Uh, all we got to do is get a chance to play. What do you enjoy most? Uh, just the basics right down to the, to the bottom of coaching and coaching student athletes. Well, you know, when I was a player, I, I just wanted to be part of the game after I got done playing and as I did that I always kind of focused on the coaches that coached me and and things like that and uh, I just think that, that this game is my life that's it's what I do um, some people are lawyers some people are doctors I'm, I'm a coach and you know the, the greatest thing for me is what I tell our girls is seeing them succeed on the field seeing them succeed off the field and then later on seeing them succeed in life and once they do that then I know I've done my job um, and I've had a lot of kids write back and Tell them that they're now married and they have families and make me feel really old. But you <laughs> know, right. but, uh, but no, yeah. it's outstanding. And that's what I. That's what it's about. It's not about, you know, a lot of it's not about winning and lose. It's about how we how we develop these kids and how we give them path and and then they take that on into their next stage. How do you when you're recruiting? A lot of coaches, um, it's it's all about the whole package. Though you have to find kids that are the right fit for your program and also. How do you evaluate someone who you think maybe can succeed on the field? And also, you have high academic standards, and for to evaluate folks that can that can earn their degree and, and be successful here in school. Well, I, I we do actually look and make sure that they do take care of their you know academics first. Um, the NCA and the APR is is very important now, and we have to make sure we maintain that level. And um, we look at players that. They're playing at the high level club situation and uh, good grades. So they're traveling, they're playing, they're, they're succeeding, you know, on, the, on and off the field already. All we have to do is carry them on and 
uh, you know, give them direction. But uh, it's important. I mean, our team grade point average was 3.5 last semester, and uh, everybody, we were 1,000 APR for three years in a row, and you know, that's what we pride ourselves on. We pride ourselves for not only for the, you know, for our AD, but for our president to, to let them know that these kids are gonna, they're doing well, they're successful, and they're moving on to what they want to do. All right, uh, you're from St. Louis, so St. Louis sports fan, obviously. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cardinals and... <laughs> Cardinals, Blues. And, you know, every once in a while yeah. we get a football program in, in there. Right. It, Back uh, and forth. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Oh, yeah. But uh, big Cardinals fan, you know. And so that's, I think that would have been my other sport was baseball. You know, it's just, uh, you know, it's soccer and baseball. And, and uh, then the Blues go ahead and turn around and win a Stanley Cup. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great sports town. Do you have a, a favorite, um, let's just say a favorite, figure. It could be an author, an, an athlete, uh, anybody that you look up to and, and you you say, man, that you know, that's someone I, I can really relate to. Well, I look at my, my college coach, you know, he just, he did things the right way. Um, we did our best. Uh, he treated everybody fairly. Um, and that really had an impact on me being a coach. Um, and that's what we, that's what I try to, you know, transition into my coaching style. Um, you know, there's so many people out there you can look up at, but uh, I'm kind of taking a piecemeal. I just take piece from here and there, but he had the most, uh, uh, you know, uh, part of my, my coaching philosophy and coaching career. Well, we appreciate your time. Thank you for giving us a little insight into your program and in your life and your passion for soccer. And uh, hopefully um, in the spring, it looks like we're going to get back out on the field. I know you're excited. Cross them to, all up. Yeah, I, I know go. you're excited to... Uh, to have more so for the athletes and everybody in the program to yeah, have that chance yeah. again this year. Yeah, yeah, for sure. These these kids are chomping at the bit, um, and uh, you know we don't want to. You know we want everybody out there. We want volleyball back out there. We want we don't want to see baseball miss another opportunity and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we're waiting for it. Once we get there, then we'll have a team ready to go. That's Coach Warren Lipka from Moorhead State Soccer. That's this edition of Coach's Corner. I'm Matt Shaber. Join us each Friday as we look at different coaches and their impact here at Moorhead State.